usually we've always been free. Like, free. We, uh... We never wanted to charge anybody, like I said. I It was always like... I want... Like I told everybody, I went to PMC you like four years ago. Mm -hmm. Six years ago, I think. And it cost me so much money to go. And when I wanted to go, I wanted to get autographs from all my favorites, you know. But I had to be selective because I had to travel. I had to pay for hotel. I had to pay for admission. So I only got to get so many you know so mm -hmm. the idea was be free and you can go get an autograph from everybody or picture from everybody mm -hmm. oh we got the big dog the big dog is in the back so with that being said we gonna give him his just do uh give me one second adam let me set up everything for you let me set the stage if you will let me roll out the red carpet, if you will. Um, I didn't know this was going to happen, but here we are. How are you, my friend? Uh, I'm doing all right. <laughs> what? All right. All right. You're doing all right. All right is an understatement. You are the man of the hour, maybe the man of this year, pulling off, landing the original Green Ranger. Uh how how hard was that process? Can you explain how it happened, if you don't mind? Um, so I was asleep. <laughs> I love it. I, honestly, I was asleep Saturday morning. I received a call um, from the management team saying they heard good stuff about our show, and I had like a like a good thirty to forty minute you know phone call with the person and we talked about it we talked about flights hotels all that good stuff um you know like i said originally it was supposed to be just the pink ranger that was, okay it was yeah, originally was all, yeah. supposed to just be the pink ranger yes okay so j just raiko shiba am i saying her name right yes okay so you were supposed to originally have her they called you they woke you up out your nap and said hey Hey, wake up, wake up. Uh, yeah. Do you want the big dog? And, w and you were just like, sure. Yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't pass it up, to be honest with you. Uh, like I said, you guys heard from me like a hundred times. Uh, it's super expensive to go to, you know, the bigger conventions, especially with the family. Yeah, it um, is. And JDF's from Houston. You know, I have Team JDF on my my team. Um, I had Jana, Jenna Frank last year as well. Um, we're going to be making another big announcement as well with uh, Legacy Nerd. Oh, shout out to Legacy Nerd. You know he stole my YouTube channel. That's a little known fact uh, that he really don't talk about. But mm -hmm. I'm going to get it back at some point. I'm going to sue his ass. But uh, congrats, man. <laughs> congrats, congrats, congrats. Uh, with that being said, why did you end up going back to your original venue? What was the story behind that? Um, so like I said, more phenomenal was supposed to be really small this year. It was supposed to be like two to three guests max. Uh huh. Uh, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Then we announced the Japanese guests, and we were just like, we can't do it. Then we we announced uh, the Dragon Ranger, and it just it blew up. And we're like, we can't, you know, we can't be in this small venue with these guests. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, you were charging initially $10 per ticket. What's the, yes. what's the whole deal with, uh, the people who, uh, purchased the tickets versus, like, um, so what we told for? everybody if they wanted, uh, to be reimbursed, just to message us, we would, we would refund them their money. Or if they wanted a t-shirt or a lanyard, you know, we can swap them out with it at the event wow wow yeah okay now funding right when you when you come to booking these guests i'm sure they want like all types of guarantees and all like good stuff you guys put your own money up right if i'm if i understand yeah. correctly yes um every flight since 2017 has been paid out of our pocket every hotel has been paid out of our pocket since 2017 and you guys There's are no, we never had a free guest. 
All right. All right. Guys, this is major. We, you're all getting some stuff that you're probably never going to get anywhere else. And what about your sponsors? Like, do you got like some big like name brand sponsors? No, so this is the first time <laughs> we actually have sponsors and our sponsors are our friends. So uh, Rage Flare, he's my friend. He's on my team. He he sells stuff. He's a vendor. So he's my personal friend. Uh, wow. And the DVD pal, that is John's friend. Um, so they're not, you know, businesses or anything. They're just friends that want to help more phenomenal grow. Now, do, I think this is the beginning of something big. I know you guys want to do it for fans, but I don't think this is just going to be some one off. I think this may be something that you see annually because you guys getting the Super Sentai uh, Rangers is different than most other cons as they generally uh, stick with the American actors. Um, how, how long have you been invested in Super Sentai for the fans to know? Um, since my, my son, since my son got into Super Mega Force, he's 11 now. So like I said, I started off with Go Kaiser. Okay. Wow. 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 Guys, any questions for Adam guys in the chat, please be respectful of his business. Don't be, don't be asking them nothing crazy. I know like some people like, is it Pepsi or Coke, you know? Uh, and we don't do no politics. I don't, please don't ask them nothing political. Uh, anywho, so who is your favorite Ranger out here? And shout out to Matt Fisher, who super chatted and said, Ryko is so sweet. Now where that, <laughs> oh, okay. He getting, he getting crazy about some other stuff. He getting crazy about some other stuff. Uh, you look, man, my audience could be a little rambunctious. Uh, but any questions nah, for okay. Adam in the uh, chat about everything? I don't, I don't even want to look at the chat, to be honest with you. <laughs> I tell Who's you not rabbit? to. Don't look oh, at the God. chat. Don't ever look at the chat. Who is your favorite ranger out here these days? Uh, my favorite ranger would have to be uh, Captain Marvelous. I actually took a trip to Momocon a couple of weeks to Atlanta to go meet him. Really? How was it? Uh, actually, it was like... A really great experience to be honest with you uh, wow, i got up, got up i didn't tell anybody i didn't tell my team where i was going um and you met him and, and everything yeah, went him. crazy yeah i had dinner with him and everything it, it was a really great opportunity all right so I, I i had to see um how toku spirits worked because oh. i had just made a lot of money Okay, so you so, were a vet new. Yeah. Oh. And they they were great. They were great to the fans. They were great to everybody. They it was just that's why I just had to see what they were really about. Okay. All right. All right, guys. That was his favorite uh power. Any other hard hitting questions from the chat? Normally you guys have a million things to say. Uh, but favorite ranger is great. What's your all-time favorite experience outside of meeting Mr. Marvelous or Captain Marvelous? Um, actually, it has to be with uh, we used to have a a cosplay group called Texas Power Rangers, and we went down to South Texas Comic Con, and we were just the cosplay group, and JDF pulled us to the back, and you know took us uh took like fan photo with our whole team and everything that was pretty badass of them wow jdf hooking y'all up uh will there be photo ops with two zayus in suit uh yes that's on our event bright that's on your event bright uh give me a yeah, second so it's basically like a uh like a site to purchase like stuff so it has like the photo ops for all the guests um the vip on there as well all right i'm glad you mentioned your vip uh for the people who are unaware can you talk a little Be bit the about boss it hog of this ish take no um prisoner. so the vip basically is you uh they, we have several we have the dinner where you'll have dinner with uh the pink ranger and the green ranger um you'll receive a shirt you'll receive an autograph you'll receive a picture Reiko is uh, raffling off a personal item from the show as well. 
and the Green Ranger. So if you got it for her, you're going to have dinner with the Green Ranger basically for free as well. So they're both going to be there. Wow. So you, you're getting guys. How can you not? How can you skip out on this? Uh, the prices is on Eventbrite. Here, I can post a link in the chat. Any more questions? Because I know he's a busy man. Uh, someone said uh, the the guest list is out there uh, for the people who asked about the guest list. Is the guest list growing by any chance? Um, possibly. We might have one or two more announcements. Um, but like I said, this is all fan funded. Um, you yeah, know, guys. I don't have seventy five dollar ticket prices, eighty dollar <laughs> ticket prices uh to you know just go book more guests yeah. oh man let him cook all right um uh we we don't we want to kind of focus on the positive i know someone asked uh, a negative question i just want to stick to the positive for our guy adam out here we probably got him for two more minutes then he got to go back to his family because he you are a family man right uh yes um I, that's I, that's why I took my son. To be honest with you, he got to meet Captain Marvelous. Uh, I have four four kids. You know, God. Um, Jesus yeah. man, do you know how to pull out? Do you do you use no, condoms? Uh, <laughs> obvious, obviously, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, he's but, like, uh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, four kids. And, and, yeah. So, and thank thank my team because they started messaging me and they're telling me I better get on the damn podcast. Oh man, look, man, I am not, I'm a nobody in the game, but I appreciate your team acknowledging me. You know what I'm saying? Acknowledge me. And we appreciate you coming on my chat for some strange reason. They all went quiet uh, as a, as a church mouse. <laughs> they like, oh, you got the owner on? Like, yeah, I got the owner on. What's up? You want to talk? They like, uh, no, I don't got nothing to say. No, but I prefer, soon, I prefer crickets. <laughs> so as soon as you leave, they're going to be like, why aren't you asking about this? Why aren't you asking about that? I'm like, look. <laughs> Uh, all right, look, man. We any any last words? Cause now they trolling. They're trolling. Uh, uh, I'm not. Gonna, they're trolling I in the chat. I don't want to go to the chat, and I'll stay off the chat. Do uh, not read chat. Okay. I do will. not read chat. Um, okay. uh, I'll answer all the heavy questions after you're off the screen. Any last comments? Okay. <laughs> That you uh, want? No. <laughs> he, he, he probably took a peek at the chat. That's why he's done. <laughs> he looked. I told you. I'm like, do not look at the chat. It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, look, you look at it, you're gonna turn the stone. He took a peek, he lost focus. And all right, uh, Adam, good job with um the expo. And I'm rooting for you. I'm hoping everything goes well. And thank you for coming up, man. I really appreciate I it. Thank All you, right. sir. All right. That's Adam from More Phenomenal Expo. Guys, you never know what you're going to get, man. Now, Dust was... <laughs> I, look, I, look, I tell all guests, do not read the chat. My audience are trolls, and they're going to hit you with some tough questions. Uh, but I did want to, like, keep it light for him because, you know, he ain't he ain't with the shits like me. I'm with the shits, okay? I'm with the... I'm with it. But um, someone said, thoughts on Galactic Productions... Uh, looking at their guest list, I don't think uh, he's ever booked with Galactic Productions, and I don't, you know, have a strong inclination that he probably never will. But I could be wrong. We should have asked that question. I, I missed it, man. I should have asked him. Ah, gosh darn, that was that was a good question, Dust. That was a good question. But Jesus, man, I, I few moments later. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! He is letting it known. He will never book with them. All right, man. That man, look. <laughs> oh, God damn. God. God damn. So there you go, Dust. There you go. Thoughts on Galactic Productions? Adam comes out. Hey, he comes from beyond the grave and rings the bell on him. Never will book with them. I wanted to keep it positive, so I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to put him under the gun. Uh, you know, he he about to have a run right now. He about to be the man of the hour. <laughs> oh, sad 